Boom! What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, today's video, we are going to talk again about Lucid Model Ticket Symbol LCID. Um, guys, we've covered this stock here. We keep covering this stock. I'm bullish on this stock, so let's just put it aside. Um, for those of you guys that are getting into the stock or are in the stock, again, I try to bring as much content and information to kind of guide you because a lot of people are in panic mode. Um, I give you guys some context here so that way you can plan yourself and not hit the panic button every time the stock pulls back. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Lucid Model, guys, again, this is a long-term play. If you are somebody that understand the momentum, you can actually swing trade it or you can actually just trade back and forth. But uh, for some people, again, myself, I do trade it. I have it long-term. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of it long-term. So I'm just putting that out there. This stock has been um, on a roller coaster. It's been up, it's been down um, from the days that they announced the merger uh, with CCIV. So you've seen the stock go to a high of close to $60 and then pull back. We've seen it down to $15, $14, even at one point. So um, expect that uh, with a stock like this. The reason why I really love Lucid Model, again, I keep telling you guys here, my comparison with Lucid Model and all the other companies is that Lucid to me is like you have your Toyota and you have your Lexus. And you will see this comparison with um, that I to see other analysts trying to use that same comparison that I, I've been talking about here on the channel for a while now. So I, I anticipate that the same rocky start that uh, Tesla went through, you're going to see that with Lucid. But the difference is that Lucid is not going to go through an intense um, start like Tesla did. Tesla was setting the, the, the foundations. Tesla was setting the, uh, you know, the, the, the path for everybody. But Lucid has really taken that, modified it. And as a matter of fact, the people that are working, a lot of them are Lucid. Even uh, their current CEO worked at Tesla. So they know what it takes to hit the ground and running. So uh, again, I want to cover some important information here so that that way you guys know why I keep saying do not panic with the stock, buy the dip and hold it long term. So I, I mentioned last week that there was a catalyst that was coming. And so again, that is uh, September 27. And this is uh, regarding the fact that they're going to open their factory to other, um, you know, media people to come in and really start talking about the stock. So expect that to happen come in but before that we've even seen that the stock is actually starting to gain some momentum already which to me um it's moving faster than i wanted it to move because i was hoping that this thing would start to pick up the pace uh, early next week but so far it looks like just because some analysts are, are picking up the pace here and start to talk about it, we'll see it. So if we go here, the first uh, thing that you see here is the fact that the uh, Lucid model beat uh, Tesla for their range. So when you talk about range, uh, when it comes to electric vehicle, it's just pretty much when you charge your car fully, how far can it drive before you have to recharge it? So Lucid is currently sitting right now at 520 miles on a charge. Um, and this is not from Lucy. This is from the EPA. So if it was Lucy that put out this information, I would probably say, um, I have my doubt. Lucy actually estimated 500. So EPA comes and says 520, which is, I mean, I think it, it, it leaves Tesla in the dust at about 100 miles. That is significant because that tells me that their battery technology is even more efficient than what Tesla has. So this is great news. And people start seeing news like this. That's when the stock starts to pick up. And then again, Bank of America actually put this information out there that you they predict a 50% gain in Lucid model. So if you're anticipating 50%, if the stock is currently trading right now at say $23 and some change, so we're looking at about uh, maybe 46, somewhere in that range, that is a 50% gain. So if it doubles, we're looking about 46 or even just say 45. So that is information that you want to be aware of because Bank of America, again, look at the comparison. They're comparing Lucy to Tesla and Ferrari. I mean, those are big 
boy names. It's not just like, those are household names. Companies that have established, know what they're doing, have the, the, the infrastructure, and then have the market space that people already know that brand if they're comparing Lucy to it. So it's just a matter of time before this stock explodes. Again, guys, I'm saying this from the perspective of somebody that's holding this stock long term. So you uh, do your homework. Again, when this thing drops, each time it drops under 20, I, I'm here yelling at you guys like, buy, buy, buy. If you don't have Tesla or you think Tesla is expensive, wait, you're going to look back and cry and kick yourself in the you know what, why you didn't get into Lucid because when this thing takes off, it's gone. It's, I mean, like these levels right now, I'm just sitting here drooling because these levels right now, these are, these are, I mean, entry levels that I don't think we'll see this stock again as soon as they start putting uh, their cars on the street. Right now, they're going through production, doing some testing. And so you're not seeing a lot of it. Once people start driving Lucid for real and start posting about the vehicle uh, online, you're going to see a complete different shift, a complete uh, shift from not just talking about it, but telling you how awesome the vehicles are. Again, as we are recording this video, Lucy is currently sitting at about $23 and some change. Uh, if we just go back a five day here, look at this. This stock just um, September 14 was trading at $18.17. And then look at that squeeze back to the upside. And remember when this thing was down here, we go back a month because um, see here, this is August, September 1st. Look at that $17 and change. And I screamed here, actually did uh, a story on my YouTube telling you guys like go buy 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 and now see look at that gain um, heading to the upside which is uh, incredible so if you missed out on this I'll say just wait because after that September uh, catalyst this thing might spike up and then pull back so if you if you're looking to buy my advice would be start really small so if you have say five grand to put into this stock you can start with a thousand dollars and then average your way down because this is not the end of it this lucy is going to go up and then we're going to see another pullback when things get quiet when nobody's talking about them for a little bit before they actually start mass producing so anticipate that so that's one of the reasons why i want to make sure that um we cover that here on the channel again just to give you guys some recap here um the reason why you see lucy like running to the upside number one is that epa put out their their range to, to be 520 miles compared to tesla um beating tesla by over 100 miles which is crazy and then the fact that bank of america also uh their analysts actually compared uh lucy to um tesla and a ferrari and then predicted a uh, 50 percent gain which is um, a good thing for for the stock so that that's the reason why you see lucy skyrocketing to the upside this is not the end of lucy guys and anticipate that it's going to be some more movement coming here uh remember i think was it um one other analyst actually predicted that it was going to get to 28 29 so again i like to see the fact that wall street is starting to cover this uh wait until when somebody they really start driving the car these guys they, they're going to write all sort of articles and put out all sort of content and analysis about the stock so i'm not i'm not panicking i'm just buying the deep as soon as i see it. it it's good for me i love the company long term and hey what, what do i say if you're not in it it's totally up to you don't say that you were never informed um about this particular one i love lucy and uh, i mean if i have to buy an electric vehicle this is going to be the first one that i'm probably going to buy um i i think i would buy this um, if Neo was in the United States, I would try Neo as well, but definitely Lucid for sure. So that's uh, my take. So there you go, guys. Those are um, the reasons why the stock is actually moving. But again, if you are a long-term investor, this shouldn't really bother you. If you're looking to swing trade, this is good because if you bought under that 20 and then right now squeezing all the way to 23, 20, approaching 24, that's a good that's a good place. So start looking at, hey, where do I secure profit? Because we've seen this thing um, hit a ton of uh, 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 resistance around 25, 26. So if you can get up there, I'll say take your first set of profit. If you, I don't know how you, you structure your profit taking, if you're doing 50, 50 or 75, 25 whatever way you structure your profit taking when it hits that 25 26 that's always um the majority of the resistance is around that area so start looking at securing some profit before it pulls back again a little bit and who knows maybe at this time it can actually break that resistance and and, and set a, a new support so if that's the case 
or gut that would means we're trending in the right direction which is anticipated because um as, as they are approaching um production and start uh, as a matter of fact distributing their vehicles with over ten thousand reservations i think it's a good sign for the company so let me know again in the comment section if you are a lucid fan if you're invested in the stock you can let me know what you think what's your game plan if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also if you're looking to get started with investing guys we boasty has a ton of promotions i mean just go sign up deposit five bucks you're gonna see they're gonna drop free stocks in your account and there's a lot of free stocks you can get from them so uh put the links in the description and as always do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated